Hello. Well, we got your basic, well, throw the ball in the air problem. In this case, we're just dropping it from this height. So we're going to use the S of T equals negative 16 T squared plus B sub zero T plus S sub zero. Well, since you're just dropping the ball, your initial velocity V sub zero is going to be zero. And since we're dropping it from 1,313 feet, S sub zero is going to equal 1313. So our position function, S of T, is going to be negative 16 T squared plus 1313. Then we take the derivative of that to get the velocity function. So we take 2 times negative 16, which gives us negative 32, and we reduce the, the exponent by 1, so we end up with negative 32t. To find the average velocity, we need to find the average velocity between 1 and 2 seconds. We need to figure out the heights at one and two seconds. So we use our position function and we plug one and two in there. So for S of one, we get 1,297. For S of two, we get 1,281. To find the average velocity, we take the difference between the heights divided by the difference in the times. Well, 1,281 minus 1,297 is negative 16 and two minus one is one, so we get negative 16 feet per second. It's negative because the ball is going, or the coin is going down. So that's your average velocity. To find the instantaneous velocities at one and two seconds, we use the velocity function that we came up with in part A. So we're gonna plug one and two into that, and the instantaneous velocity at one second is going to be negative 32 feet per second. And at two seconds, it's going to be negative 64 feet per second. Part D, they want to figure out when the ball hits the ground. Well, ground level is going to be zero. So we get zero equals negative 16 T squared plus 1313. Solve that for T. So I added 16 T squared to both sides. Divided both sides by 16, and then I took the square root of 1313 divided by 16, and that came out to be 9.059 seconds. So the ball hits the ground, or the coin hits the ground in 9.059 seconds. To find the instantaneous velocity at that time, we take our 9.059 seconds, plug it into our velocity function, so we get negative 32 times 9.059, and that came out to be negative 289.888 feet per second.